In this video, we're going to try to explain the concept of stoichiometry. And so this is our first graph stoic video, and we're going to do this all by conversion factors. So I have other videos that explain it in a different way, but this is what you'll find most of the answers in our key written as. And so this first question says, water is produced by reacting hydrogen gas with oxygen gas. If 10 grams of oxygen gas are reacted with excess hydrogen, the mass of water produced will be what? And so I've got my reaction. For any stoic question, it needs to be a balanced reaction. So I balance my oxygens and then my hydrogens. So the first step in any stoic question is to balance your reaction. I've then organized that I know that there are 10 grams of oxygen, that's from the question, and they want the mass of water. The molar mass of oxygen, because it has two oxygen atoms, is 2 times 16.00 grams, because that's the atomic mass. And so this is 32.00 gram per mole. And then the molar mass of water is 18.02 gram per mole. And what I want to calculate is the mass of water. So I write that here because my answer over here is going to give me that answer. But I'm going to start with the mass of oxygen. So I've got 10.0 grams of oxygen, and I'd like that to be chemical amount or mole. So to cancel out my grams, I put the grams in the denominator and mole in the numerator. One mole is 32.00 gram. So this gives me the N of O2. But I don't want the N of O2, I want the N of H2O. So I use a conversion factor to change from oxygen to water. And this is using the coefficients. So the coefficient for oxygen is 1 and for water is 2. And so I'm changing the N of O2 to N of H2O. That's what this then I'm going to get rid of mole, because remember over here, I was left with mole, then I converted it to mole of water. Then I'm going to convert the mole of water into the mass of water by taking 18.02 gram for one mole, so using the molar mass. So this will give me the mass of H2O in the end. So I've got, I started with a known amount of oxygen, converted it to mole then change the moles of oxygen to moles of water, and then change the mole of water to mass. And so when I put this into my calculator, I'm going to get 10.0 uh, times 1 divided by 32, times 2 divided by 1, and then times 18.02 divided by 1, and I get 11.3 gram of water. And so this number here is this value. I will uh, do another question in another video, um, so I'll do question two in the next video.